It's July. Tomatoes are at their ripest. Of course, we want to celebrate them. But what if we want to make a dish that also utilizes stuff in the pantry? Fuzili Brava Regazza. That's exactly what you need. I love this recipe because it doesn't even use a knife. It's real fast to make. Okay, so we've got water on the stove over here. Uh, I've just put it on. Let's start making this sauce. You've got to rinse off your capers, whether you buy the ones in vinegar or salt, you've got to get all that stuff off. I'm partial to the capers that come with the salt on them. I think they taste better. And then what we want to do is get them directly in the pan naked. This is just going to evaporate that water off. And that way, rather than adding them to hot oil and having everything splatter everywhere, it becomes a little dehydrated and it's less of a mess. Check it out. So just looking for them to look kind of dry. So now we'll come in with eh, two tablespoons of olive oil. So I'm just smashing it. I'm leaving the skin on. So the Italians call this garlic with a t-shirt on, in camicia. And it's really good because it protects the outside of the garlic from becoming burnt and acrid. And that way, you know, you don't get any of the bitter flavors with this. It gives you a little more leeway. And after the fact, if you love garlic, you can just take the t-shirt off or you can just pull these out. Just keep in mind how many cloves of garlic I used for. If you add red pepper now, it's gonna sort of fry in the oil and it's gonna become very aroused. It's gonna be much hotter than if we put this pepper on at the end, right? Think of like a pizzeria and you put the red pepper flakes on. They're sort of like inert. They're like dried out and cardboardy. Wake them up in hot oil, whew, five times hotter, just so you know. Check it out. Because we dehydrated these capers before we threw them in here, look at how this one is blossoming. Can you see that? Really nice, opening up. Capers are starting to darken in color. It's really pretty. Let's throw in our cherry tomatoes. This is a pint. Something like that. And I lied about this being a no knife recipe because this is where we're gonna use the knife. We're just gonna poke a hole in each one of these tomatoes. Half a pound of pasta, two people. Listen, we got capers, we've got olives. This is a pretty salty sauce. So we wanna go on the lighter side of brackish here. Whatever your normal salt amount is, have it. Pasta in, all right, give it a nice stir. They're already like breaking apart because of the knife thing we did. We can just squash them. Get more of the juice out now. Oh yeah. See what's happening now? See how thick that is? Let's talk a little bit about this dish, okay? Puttanesca, so flavorful, packs so much punch for very little money. But some people don't like the black olives, the anchovies, it can be very, very aggressive. This, is everything I love about puttanesca without that, right? Let's come in with about a tablespoon of tomato paste. Now this is totally optional. So this just helps us get a little more tomato flavor. Green olives, okay, cool. Now, with that can, let's grab some of the pasta water. All right, so I've got about half a can of starchy, salty pasta water here. And what that's gonna do now, is warm up our olives, stretch out all that tomato paste, deglaze any bits that were on the bottom of the pan. Gorgeous, and now we've got a really nice sauce. Pretty much where we wanna be. So I'm just gonna lower this to keep it warm. At this point, I'm waiting four more minutes for the pasta and we'll do the last minute of these two things coming together as one, one. Coming over with our hot saute. If this looks a little dry, we just add more of this pasta water. That's the beauty of not draining all this down the sink. Okay, I'm gonna cook it for a minute or two right here like this. So I can see already we need a little more water. So here's an espresso cup. Brr. 
brava ragazza! When you're looking for that summertime pasta fix, but you also want to use up stuff in your pantry, Brava Ragazza is where it's at. The other thing I love about this dish is it's good hot or cold. You can make this and stick it in a mason jar and bring it to the beach. Mm. Can you see how silky each of the pastas are? Just like gorgeously, perfectly, ever so slightly coated in that tomato velvetiness. A little bit of heat from the red pepper flakes that we cooked up in the oil. Obviously, we've got these super fresh cherry tomatoes that are sweet and delicious, very much in season. Mm. Quite hot, but luckily we poked them so it's not like exploding with super hot liquid in your mouth. These, uh, the green olives, not super briny, meaty, sweet. A lovely, lovely swap for the black olives. Mm. What happened to all our garlic? Remember we had four cloves. Okay, so here's uh, a garlic with the t-shirt on. So check it out now. If I just squeeze it, you see that? No burn on the garlic. Look at that. And you can see how soft it is, right? Oh, forget about it. Forget about it. Mm, 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 mm. That's it guys, Fusili Brava Ragazza. That's the pasta of the month for the month of July. 2021. I just turned 35 years old. I can't believe that. I'd like to thank everyone on my Zero Waste Meal Plan Plus for making this video possible. Uh, and if you're curious what that is, I've got a link in the description below. This dish is intertwined beautifully with four other dishes creating a Zero Waste Meal Plan. Which means when you go to the grocery store, everything you buy will be used up. And that's a beautiful thing. So I'll see you next month with August's Pasta of the Month. Thank you very much for watching. Send the video around to your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already done it. And I will see you later.